Okay, today we're going to take a look at Google Drawings. This is a an app that a lot of people don't realize you actually have and that's associated with your Google account. Um, it's a great little app for uh, creating pictures and think of it as a watered down version of Photoshop. Um, one of the things that I like to do is, is with students is have them use Google Drawings to create memes, which kind of really make, allows them to be very creative in the classroom. There's a number of things that you can do with memes no matter what subject that you are you're teaching and students enjoy doing them they enjoy looking at them online so uh, Google drawings is a great way to get them to start using it um, another couple other things that you can do with with Google drawings um, you can create some pretty cool diagrams in which each part of the diagram can be a clickable link so for example if you're doing parts of a cell you can make a diagram of a cell and they click you, the student can click on each part of the cell and be sent to a website or a video that gives more information about that part. So I'm going to do just a quick demo of how to start a Google Drawing and how to import some pictures. And uh, my demo is going to be a meme. Um, I'll do a demo in the future about uh, creating a diagram with clickable links, but we'll start simple today by just creating a simple meme, which all it is is importing a picture and uh, adding text. So to start a Google Drawing, <clears throat> we'll click here on New come down to more and then right there it says Google drawings so it'll open up in a new tab and it's going to automatically be saved in my Google Drive which is very convenient so I'm going to call this once it loads up sample drawing <clears throat> now just like with any Google app whether it's um, Google Docs or Google slides importing a picture from the internet or from your own computer is is the same you go to insert and then you go click on image and then you get this menu and you can take a snapshot of you using your, your webcam by URL if you want to use the web address of a uh, copy and paste web address from any uh, web based image uh, if you have things pictures saved in Google Drive or you can do a simple search um, I'm gonna do a simple search so I'm going to look up a picture of just for fun here, Grumpy Cat. Oh, there he is. And you can see there are already some memes up there. So I'm going to take, a, when you make a meme, you you don't want to have any text on it. You want to be the one that adds the text. So you want to find a clean picture with no text. So I'll choose this one. And then it will be imported into my, pic into my picture. And luckily for me, this one's already sized perfectly. It fits on the canvas. So if I bring it down, you can see that it has been all, all the way it takes up the whole thing so I don't need I don't need to resize this one some of not every picture will be this easy to, sometimes you have to resize them but I'm gonna put it back the way it was and now I'm going to add my text um, to add your text there's two ways to do it you can click on the text box here it's very quick and easy or you can go to insert text box either way it works the same I like using the one right here and I'm gonna draw a text box across the top so I'm gonna make this if I take a look at my background here it's kind of a grayish background usually a white um, font will look better so I'm going to change the color of the font here to white let's make this about a 48 size font <laughs> let's say I'm doing this in a history class let's say we're talking about um, the Napoleonic era in, in France <clears throat> so we'll call it that face Napoleon made. Again, I'm trying to be clever here. I'm gonna, and then I'm going to add. A, a, most memes have text at the top and bottom. Now, right here, it kind of has that white background, so I'm going to have to use a, a just a, a black font. So I'm going to use 48 size. Let's bold it. Let's see. Let's see, um, at Waterloo. So those of you who don't, you don't aren't history buffs like me, Waterloo is where Napoleon was finally defeated. Now, usually you want to keep the font the, the same color, but because I'm dealing with these different backgrounds here, it kind of wasn't conducive, but you get the point. Let's see what a black one looks like. I guess that looks good enough. So the face Napoleon made, at Waterloo. 
obviously he wasn't happy. So this could easily be used with students. Maybe you put that up there, and it could spur a conversation, spur their memory to discuss, okay, well, why would he be making that face at Waterloo? And they would could recall that, you know, that's where he lost, he was defeated, and it could spur a whole conversation about something that was read or discussed in class. So once you make your meme, students, it'll save automatic Google Drive. They can look at it this way. They can even click on File. They go to Download as a JPEG. It goes onto their computer if they want to... Uh, <clears throat> They want to post it on social media. Some kids like to do that. Um, that could even be a really cool, uh, cool activity where they get points for posting their their memes on social media. Again, a very engaging activity. Again, it all depends on student access to technology, uh, their comfortability with it, as well as yours. Um, so, just to some ideas, but memes are a very engaging way to get students to be uh, creative, and it kind of gets them moving in that direction towards. Uh, critical thinking. So if you have any questions about how to make memes or would like to book a session to for have me to walk your kids through this process, just let me know. Leave a comment on the video, send me an email, or hit me up on Google Hangouts. Until next time.